When it comes to what we all have individually in our range bag, it's a little bit like going on a deep dive into your purse. <laughs> Everything you're gonna find in there is a little bit different, but some things are similar. Yeah, I think it's a personal preference and also what do you most often go to the range for? In my case, I'm an instructor. So I will have different things than say you or Narissa will carry mm -hmm. in your range bag. Absolutely, yeah, I do a lot of long range shooting and so the gear I have in here might be completely foreign to a lot of you, but it's still worth taking a look at to see what you might wanna have in a range bag. Right. Yeah. And for me, I like to just have fun. So what I'm going to show you guys is something that I would just throw in my bag if I was heading down to the range for the day. From a safety standpoint, we all know that two of the most essential items that we can all have in our range bag and should is our ear protection and our shooting glasses mm -hmm. to That's protect right. our eyes. Now, in my case, I choose to always use electronic earmuffs mm -hmm. because I am instructing and I need to be able to hear my students and be able to talk to them without yelling and losing my voice during the day. Another thing that I always do is I carry extra foams because sometimes you have people who are sensitive and they need that extra ear protection or somebody who forgot mm -hmm. their ear protection at home. I like to have double ears on, so okay. I always wear foams and my electronic muffs. So mm -hmm. I'm the same way. I always have the foams with me as well. Yeah. So I just have two shooting glasses just in case somebody else on the range forgets theirs. Uh, you can never be too prepared to have two extra pairs. And it is vitally important that we make sure that everyone on the range protects their eyes. It's really important to always have a staple gun mm -hmm. and extra staples. Yeah. That way you can hang your targets. Or, you know, I know sometimes, like in your case, Nar, you yeah. have an adhesive target. Yeah, we have our new splash targets, and these are nice if you forget your staple gun. I always like to have a handgun case. Um, that way, if I don't have a holster, then I can take my firearm to the mm -hmm. firing line cased yeah. and keep it safe. Yeah. Do the same thing. I like to have tape so that I can tape up my targets as needed. Yeah. I always have rim oil in my bag and a tape measure because I like to know what yardage I'm shooting at mm -hmm. or if I am instructing for the day, I want to make sure that my students are at the proper yardage. I like to know my yardages as well, but instead of using a tape measure, I actually just use a laser range finder so I can mm -hmm. range from, you know, three yards on out to well over a thousand yards. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. One of the last things I have is a gun cleaning kit. Mm -hmm. And I always take one to the range because you never know when you're going to need it. I have a lot of gear in my range bag um, because long range shooting requires a lot of gear. Mm -hmm. So for me, I bring either binoculars or a spotting mm -hmm. scope. If I have a spotting scope, I'll also bring a tripod and that allows me to work as a um, spotter for another shooter if mm -hmm. we're working in pairs. The other thing I have is a rear support bag. So if I'm shooting prone, I have a nice rear support where mm -hmm. I can get a good shooting position mm -hmm. from that. Um, and I have a lot of tool kits. So um, with the, my long range rifle uh, setups, I like to make sure that I have any type of torque wrenches, um, scope level mm -hmm. systems, and all of the specialty uh, tools that my right. optics might need mm -hmm. should I need to make um, an elevation adjustment or mm -hmm. windage adjustment mm -hmm. uh, based on how my rifle is zeroing or mm -hmm. if I have any problems with components coming loose. Mm -hmm. And especially if I'm traveling like for a hunt or something, I always want to make sure I have the tools that I can operate and work on my firearm. Mm. Absolutely. A cleaning kit for my optics is something I always have in my range bag as well and um, a shot timer. I want to use my shot timer so that I can record and monitor my balance of speed and accuracy. So this timer is really critical mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. It's really neat to see all of the different things because I'm not a competitive shooter, mm -hmm. but yeah. there are a lot of things that go into this. Mm -hmm. The last couple of items I bring would be a set of calipers so that I can do any measuring if I need to mm -hmm. on my optic. Mm -hmm. And then also a magneto speed, um, chronograph and so this just goes on the barrel of my rifle. Mm. I can double check my muzzle velocity mm -hmm. um, and make sure my data is as accurate as possible. Mm -hmm. 
A couple other items that I bring would be some index cards so that I can create an mm -hmm. armboard cheat sheet or mm -hmm. a data card. This way I can accurately engage targets at various distances mm -hmm. um, without having to use my Kestrel, which mm -hmm. brings me into the next thing that I always have, which is my Kestrel weather station. And this will actually give me my mm -hmm. data at every distance and then also a corresponding wind speed. So mm -hmm. if I have a 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever value of wind is, this will give me my wind holds for each distance and mm -hmm. corresponding um, wind speed. Mm -hmm. And the last couple of little housekeeping items I bring to the range would be pens. Mm -hmm. So I'll have both a permanent Sharpie yeah. and a dry erase pen. And the dry erase mm -hmm. pen um, lets me write actually on my armboard and I can circle yardages. So if I have a three target spread, mm -hmm. I can actually circle those yardages mm -hmm and just look down quickly to index mm. what I need to dial and shoot and then rapidly wipe it off. So these are really great training aids that I mm -hmm. use mm -hmm. um, at the range. Cool. That's awesome. Let's not understate the value of staying hydrated while on the range. So for me, I'm always making sure that I have my water bottle, some sort of hydration, because you know right now it's hot. hot. And mm -hmm. where we live, it's 111 degrees. Mm -hmm. So we always try to make sure we have some sort of hydration. And then snacks. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're all snackers. That's right. <laughs> so it's super important when you're on the range because we have lead on our hands. So I always try to bring some sort of hand wipes and you can share with your friends. So I'm just going to, I always bring a knife because you never know if you need a knife or your utility knife. Mm, so. I also have a utility yeah. knife. Yeah. Yeah. So it's exactly. kind of good mm -hmm. to get that. Friends always tool need kits. Yeah, mm -hmm. toolkits. And I always just have my little accessories because I'm a girl. I love to have my gum, my inhalers, and my lip balm. <laughs> well, I know for myself in particular, if I'm shooting a competition and I'm starting to maybe fall apart at some yeah. stages mm -hmm. or things really are like not coming together for me and I'm mentally maybe just not mm -hmm. um, as sharp as I'd like to be, a lot of it goes back to having food. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy to be caught up in the moment at the range and next thing you know three or four or five hours have gone by and you haven't had a yeah, snack and absolutely. it's really important to take that time to make sure you do drink water stay hydrated and have some food on your tummy yeah. because you're going to perform a lot better yeah, absolutely. absolutely and there are so many things that i think each of us don't even have here because yeah. we probably have multiple yeah. bags yeah. but for each of us these are some of the key items mm -hmm. and i think that new shooters will find information and valuable to try and see what what are they going to put in their range bag mm -hmm. um christy the competition stuff yeah. is really awesome i would love to know more about that in the future mm -hmm. because i it's not something that i do yeah. there's a lot of this crossover equipment that is for everyone to improve mm -hmm. you as a shooter Absolutely. and it's not just like if you're a competitor it's if you want to shoot some distance if you want to do precision shooting versus pistol shooting the great thing about firearms is there's multiple disciplines so each mm -hmm. discipline is going to have their own unique specialty gear if you have any questions of what's in our range bag, ask in the comments below.